Here is a question which requires you to assume a couple of things about the uh, mechanics of how heat exchangers work. We are told that we have a saturated steam which is being used to, uh, to heat water in a heat exchanger from 20 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius. So already we can... Let's do a draw a diagram showing the situation. We have our heat exchanger. We have cold water and slightly warmer water, 20 degrees Celsius and 70 degrees Celsius. And we have our steam. Our steam is entering the heat exchanger. Um, it is remaining on its side, perhaps in a quill of some kind, and it is exiting as condensate. We are told that the condensate will subcool to 80 degrees Celsius and that it enters um, as saturated steam at 100 degrees Celsius. We are also told that there are heat losses. Now, this requires us to think a little bit about where those losses would occur. It doesn't make sense for the, for the losses to occur inside of the steam uh, part that is transferring heat with the water because that would actually not be, we wouldn't describe that as losses. That's just the normal way in which the, the heat is being transferred. We would we be worried about losses from the warm stuff out into the uh, the atmosphere and we therefore we can say that we have losses at the rate of 3000 kilojoules per hour indicated here so furthermore we have the givens that we have um, and the key to solving this problem again is to do an energy balance and as we have seen before it is uh, very much simpler to do an energy balance when we are comparing differences between like streams. So uh, in our case, we are going to reason about the change in enthalpy uh, undergone by the steam. And so we'll, we'll basically be asking when the steam goes through, how much heat is it giving into the water? And we will then also reason that uh, the water is taking, um, the uh, cold water is taking in this heat while losing that heat. So, our balance envelope shifts in this direction and we can say that the energy lost by the steam must be equal to the energy taken up by the water plus the loss term. Now the energy lost by the steam will be both latent heat and sensible heat. And the energy taken up by the water will only be the sensible heat plus these losses. So if we call the mass flow rate of steam M steam and we call this M water, the balances work out roughly as follows. So we've taken the latent heat, expressed that in terms of the flow rate of the steam. We've taken the sensible heat and taken that with a constant Cp. The same on this side, except that we've used the um, flow rate of water and the delta T of the water. We are now ready to uh, do the substitutions. Now we can simply substitute. We have a flow rate for the water, 
given in cubic meters per, per hour, but we'll uh, assume that one cubic meter is a thousand kilograms. We have uh, CPs of water given. Delta T water is this difference over here. Delta T condensate is this difference over here. And our losses are given. And the final answer is 97 kilograms per hour. Let's see that in overview. There you go.